Welcome back everybody. Today we're taking a little detour from our usual tool review and we're going to look at a, a couple accessories that you can use when you're doing carpentry or whatever, right? First thing we're going to look at is the uh, Home Depot 10-pack pencil with Versa Sharp Sharpener and then we're also going to look at the actual Milwaukee Inks Zoll and it's four of them. You got the red, black, blue, and green. Item number 48. 223106 okay so let's go ahead and look at these and we'll try them out here in a little bit as well to see how they work okay so first thing we're going to do is look at this paper one here so let's uh, go ahead and open these uh, we'll just cut it right here all right I should pretty much release it there we go all right we got the sharpener and then we got all the pencils look pretty good usual style of pencil for that so let's put these back in there and we'll take out one and then we'll set this to the side we'll put that about right there for us and then let's look at these next the actual ink zolls are clog resistant so we'll see if that's the case we'll try it on a different uh items and see what kind of performance we get so let's go ahead and open these before we open it let's look at the back it says hard hat clip so these can be clipped onto the hard hat it says on the side 72 hours up to 72 hour cap off life so it's not like your usual markers where if you accidentally leave them uncovered they dry up so this is supposed to fix that anti-roll design and it has a lanyard hold so yeah i'll probably never use that but it's nice to know that it has there all right let's go ahead and open these up all right take these out put that to the side so there we go we have those right there so let's look at the uh pins first we'll start with the green one get, let you have a good view of it right there let you zoom into it a little all right get a little bit of view of it there's the green there's that little clip right there if you want to clip it because this can clip like this or it can clip up like that like into a hard hat don't have one so I can't show you all right but if we were to use the actual packet that it came in and pretend that it was the edge of a hat so this is the edge of the hat so all you would do is grab this and just clip it like that onto your hat okay clip it boom there it is okay all right so let's go ahead and open this see how it looks all right let you look at that it's a fine tip real good all right that's nice and of course we have the red and the black there they are black same thing blue nice if you notice it has the lid blue and it has the cover blue it has the red cap so red thing green go back to that one this part is green too so nicely color matched and everything so let's look at these put them there all right so far very nice all right let's put the black one there let's look at the pencil all right it says the home depot 100 percent wood okay made in the usa always good to support usa um, here's the sharpener it says here ch hansen all right looks like a little viking there got some wording inside there www.chanson.com all right good deal has a little hole here in case you want to i guess like a linear to clip it something okay so let's start out with the pencil first and stick it in here and see how it works so all right it sharpens it pretty fast actually look at that pretty good that's really good there we go a little bit more all the way till it gets to the very bottom all right there we go i think i took some of the lid out all right i gotta admit it's good but it's tearing up my my pencil it's not quite sharpening like i thought it was so that's a little disappointing maybe it's the way i'm doing it or something but it's just not doing it good look at that look it leaves wood right there on the side so i don't know about this home depot pencil i don't know let me take that out and now put it on the other side see what happens 
we'll try this side. Let's see. Maybe I'll I started off wrong. I don't know. We'll see. Give it the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, no. That ain't going to work. I may have to go old school on these. I mean, you got a tip, but man, it's not what you were hoping for or what I was hoping for. You see that? I'll let you look at that. I mean, it gets it there, but look, at least wood here and wood there. Not what I was wanting. I want a nice tip. So that's a disappointment. <laughs> I guess I'll have to go old school. And if if, if any one of y'all wondering what old school is, it's this and doing it like this. Like my dad used to do it when he was sharpening pencils at the house. You know, that's the old school, I guess, if you want to call it. That's the way I remember my father doing it. He would do it like this and then get it to the point that he wanted. So, you can see the difference. <laughs> old school versus the uh, tool. All right, so we'll put that to the side and uh, check out the rest, okay? All right, so we had a chance to sharpen this with the tool. Here it is right here, and without the tool. I'll go without the tool personally. It seems to be, while this looks nice and, you know, gives it a nice point, at least I can use the pencil with this one. You know, maybe it's something I'm doing. Maybe it needs to be broken in or something. I'm not quite sure. But for right now, old school it is for me. All right. So the next thing we're going to look at is let's look at these uh, pins. And we'll grab a piece of wood and we'll put it down here. We'll start writing on it, see what kind of action we get with it. So first thing we're going to do is write with the pencil. You know, if I measure in here, all right, that's, that's a real good point. Um, you can be like six inches, you know, cut cut line over here or cut line over here. Um, that's, you know, that's generally what I do right there. Some people just do the little tick. I like to do the little thing like that, like my father taught me. That's how he taught me. So I guess that's the habit I have. Okay. So pencil writes good. I like the pencil. If I show you this one, I mean... Like I said, it's, it's a good tip, but it, it, you can see where the wood's already coming into it. So I can see he's having some issues there. So let's go ahead and use the pins. We'll flip this over and get a clean slate. So let's go ahead and look at these next and see how they work. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's do the thing. All right. That's actually pretty good. All right. Let's uh, mark. So let's see how these look. Blue. All right. So that's the blue right there. I just got some on my finger so you can see how it got on my finger. It, hopefully it'll come off rather easily. We'll see here in a minute. You know, it should come off pretty easily. I mean, we'll see. So that's the blue. Let's look at the black. Same thing. All right. Pretty good. Black. All right. Green. Let's look at the green. All right. Look at that. All right. <laughs> Almost spelled it wrong, but that's an R, guys. It's an R. Trust me, it's an R. I at least can spell green, right? <laughs> and last but not least is going to be the red. All right. All right. And then see how it looks. So they all look good and they write good. So I think the best thing about these is going to be the fine tip and the fact that you can use it. Now you can use this for measuring to get little measuring. So let's bring out my uh, my uh, home, not Home Depot, but uh, well, I did get it at Home Depot, but my Milwaukee Auto Lock. And let's take one of these and see how what it does. So we'll grab the, uh, let's do the red. That's fine. Let's do the red. So line it up. There you go. Put it here. All right. You know, not bad. I like it. Let's go ahead and look at these now. The Let's try the blue one for giggles and see how that works. You know, we can say uh, we want to cut it there. And then we want to say we can want to cut it here. So just a few measurements. Or we can go from the side and say five inches. So then I would go five inches here. Five inches here. And then use my straight edge to connect those, right? I don't have my straight edge handy on me right now, but that's what I will use as a straight edge. So, I guess in summary, these pins are a good deal. I would recommend these pins. They are great. 
I would actually recommend these pencils, but like I said earlier, I don't know about using this sharpener. It just doesn't seem to work like I want it. So these pencils are good too. Remind me of when I used to work with my dad during the summer. Yep. So kind of like what we did on the other side. Little tick, little tick. Connect them. You know, I like that. We'll do the same little thing, six inches there, six inches there, and then connect them with the straight edge. Alrighty, so let's check these out one more time. Before we put everything away, we'll take that one out of the picture because it's just not what we were hoping for. But, you know, let's check out the rest of it and see what we have Go here. Ahead and put this wood kind of in here. So we'll put the pins right here on the side, let you get a nice look at them before we call this a final video and, and we move on but uh yeah Mont milwaukee ink zal ink zal what a name i want to keep on calling it inkzilla or something but i think it's ink zal um and then we of course like i said we have the home depot 100 percent wood made in the usa great items you know use them for where you need to you know one thing i do want to show before I do leave this video is probably just to see how this uh, ink works on wood on not wood but metal so let's check that out right quick okay look at that it's mirror so you probably got to give it time to dry up that's the black that's the red that's the green that's the blue I think my favorite one on the metal is going to be blue. Blue. Blue wins on this metal. All right, everybody. I think that's a wrap. We tested it out on wood. We tested it out on metal. Everything seems to work good. I, I, I prefer the actual Milwaukee ink saw, but I'll, you know, there's uses for the pencil. Of course, on wood, I would still probably use it on wood. Um, nonetheless, it was just a short video on accessories that could help you out around the house or in carpentry. Consider subscribing. Consider giving me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I always try to get back to everybody. Until the next one, have a great one. Bye.